Hello everyone, this is a building instruction video that was requested by a subscriber of mine. First of all, I would like to apologize for the video quality. Uh, this is quite poor. I'm still using very amateuristic uh, video equipment and today, uh, the day I filmed this, the lighting situation was not optimal and that's why the video has become quite grainy. But I, should, I think it should uh, still be good enough to uh, see uh, the instructions. I'm starting off here by building the barrel. There are different ways you can build this barrel, um, but this way I'm using, uh, in this case I'm using uh, lift beams, which uh, make a very uh, smooth barrel on the inside, although uh, it also makes a little bit uh, of a cumbersome, it will be quite large. Uh, there's another type of barrel I'm also working on, and uh, I will uh, uh, show an example of that at the end of the video. Uh, here you can see I'm um, pulling some uh, rubber bands through uh, a Technic beam by using a, a wire, which is uh, yeah, the easiest way to do uh, something like that. So the wire goes through the rubber bands and then the wire goes through the Technic beam, the studless beam. And you can pull the rubber band uh, through quite easily, and, but first you have to make sure that you have pin on the other side so that you don't pull the entire rubber band through. And then you can secure it with a pin on this side as well to make sure it doesn't uh, it, it stays in place. One rubber band is in the sixth hole and one rubber band is in the fifth hole for this build. So now I'm continuing uh, making the barrel. That's the top part of the barrel. Now I'm starting on the bottom part. There's many ways you can construct a barrel like this. Uh, and uh, since the barrel wasn't really at the, at the crucial part of the build, I uh, chose to bu build a very very basic barrel. Of course uh, when your barrel needs to be longer you need to, you need to make it uh, a little bit more sturdy because otherwise it will bend. But yeah I'm sure uh, that um, you can figure out how to make a, a little bit more sturdy barrel than I'm building here. These are the sides I just finished, so now it's time to uh, put everything uh, together. Just some pins left and then the barrel is finished. As you can see, uh, in this case, you, you create a very, very smooth inner surface, which makes uh, it very uh, easy to have bricks uh, flying through there. But it's quite bulky, so not everybody will like that. Now I'm constructing the throwing arms. Um, I I doubted if I should build them now or later um, because I have to take them apart later in the build but uh, just to see how it's done I'm uh, including them here OK, 
Okay, this is a part of the top which uh, holds the magazine. It's a very simple little thing. The middle part are two of those half uh, height uh, four one by four beams. They're great little things, I think. I really like the, the Technic uh, half height uh, Technic beams. But in this case, I could have used uh, full height, but uh, LEGO unfortunately doesn't make uh, one by four uh, full height beams, so I'm using the half height ones. Okay, that's the part, top part. This is um, actually the most crucial part of the build, which I'm uh, quite proud of, which uh, it, uh, it makes a complex uh, movement uh, in a very simple mechanism. Uh, it's the part that uh, pulls the, the wire back, the string back, and then releases also uh, the string all in one small part. Very simple. This is uh, one of the side parts of the main body of the mechanism. This is the easiest uh, side. The other one uh, includes the gears. This is just a uh, frame. Now it's time to build a slightly more complex one. In this uh, build I'm using, I think it's the AT2 gear. Uh, there are many ways to uh, construct a gear up or down, of course, and to place the motor. The way I'm using it now, I'm doing it now, is the easiest, or the easiest, yeah, the easiest way, the most simple way to place the motor. But there may be reasons you want to, if you want to create more tension in the string, you need to gear it down further. Or if you want to place the motor in a different location, then you need some gears for that as well. There are many ways to do that. At the end of the video I will show you uh, a very compact way to do it with a worm gear. But this is a very basic way to do it. That's that part ready. So now it's time to uh, put it all together, which is a somewhat finicky thing to do. This uh, middle part is very important, and actually I, I forgot something to do there, which I will uh, show, up, show a little bit later. It's an easy step to forget, but very crucial. So the first middle part, which now falls out, is the part that holds the string. Um, and the other part is the, the, the moving part that's, that pulls the string back. That's the top, that holds the barrel and connects, holds the magazine as well. It's a bit of, little, a, bit of a link between everything. So this is the complete body now, I have to secure it in a few spots, mainly there. Now it's time to attach the barrel.
So now to de uh, uh, deconstruct uh, some of uh, the parts. If you have built it so far, then uh, it may be not be clear how everything attaches. But if you build all the parts, then there's only one way they, they can go together. So it should be easy. And now I, I've uh, construct, uh, constructed, uh, attached the lift, ar the, the uh, throw arms. Um, but they will have to be demounted again because I still have to do make one very crucial part, which is the string, which I will show a bit later. But first, let's see how it works. And it works. This is also a crucial part. It's uh, the magazine. Um, this magazine holds six 1 by 3 uh, lift arm bullets. And of course, I didn't design this myself. There are lots of uh, these kinds of uh, things on the, to see online. A lot of people like making uh, Lego guns, and I think they are I think they are great. What they what they all managed to do, and this is more or less uh, an ad ad adaptation of uh, what I saw there. That is the um, part that pushes up the the bullets. So now I'm going to build a frame. Now these things in the middle are again those uh, half height, one by four, Technic uh, lift beams. That's the rear part of the frame. This is the front part of the frame. And now I'm making the middle part of the frame. Where does that pin go? <laughs> and I think I figured it out. Well, it, you can you can put it together uh, a, a few different ways. I, I don't think I used the most easy way to do it all, but. Now I got uh, basically a front part and a rear part, and the most crucial thing is the mill part, or the thing that pushes the bullets up. It needs to be um, attached at the bottom, and then go up and in the middle. Um, so you see that the part that pushes up, everything up is in the middle, and then the rubber band goes around the side and it, it attaches at the bottom and that works pretty well so now we can attach this part in the main mechanism and also this is a very easy way to reload your guns you can just uh, pull it out put some bullets in and place it back in this is a part I uh, forgot to put at the in the build it's a one by two plate that goes at the, at the top there, and then also we two um, actually that the first one was a one by two tile, and then here we have two one by two plates. This is a, a nut that's um, called in Dutch the wurgstrik. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure how to translate that, but it is a nut which is uh, I think it's very cool. It's uh, something that the harder you pull it, the more the tightly secured it comes and. Once you pull it a certain amount, it will actually never be able to get loose again. 
um, or shift in place, which is very important for making the bowstring. Uh, you don't want if if it's secure, you don't want to want it to be loose, so that you would have to make a new bowstring every few shots. So um, making a bowstring is very finicky. Uh, you need to be very precise in your me measurements, and actually. The most ring I'm, I'm making here is a little bit too short, um, which means the firing mechanism doesn't work optimally. But <clears throat> in order to make a good uh, bowstring, it can easily take you an hour to get it exactly in, at the right length. This one is, I think, three millimeters too short. So, um, but yeah, I didn't have one hour to make a bowstring, so I'm just using this one and it should show you how the mechanism works and if when you're making your own bow, bow uh, string yeah be prepared to uh, that it will take you a little bit of time to get it exactly at the right length so it uh, attaches in three parts uh, a little technique I'm not sure what those are called axle uh, pins no, not a pin but and then the two bow strings which we will secure the two not bow strings, two throwing arms which we secure on either side and then it's the time to um, attach the rubber bands which is uh, can also be a little bit finicky and it's uh, I should probably warn you that uh, that you should only attach when you are attaching these uh, rubber bands be very careful that they are secured properly before you release them if you release them and they are not properly secured then they shoot back through the uh, lift beams and you can basically uh, start building the whole uh, contraption again because you have to demount the barrel and then uh, the unconstruct the barrel to reattach or to reinsert uh, more or less the rubber band yeah as I said the uh, string is a little bit too tight but it still works so I would like to show you some other things I'm working on this is another type of uh, barrel uh, it's um, a little bit smaller and it is uh, more it looks more massive which will be the new bar the new barrel for my mark 6 tank it's another mechanism I'm working on it's a uh, li little bit smaller and it uses a different attachment of the motor which you can see there uh, this is a, a, a firing mechanism I will use probably in a new uh, tank I'm building which will be a smaller tank and then you have uh, another mechanism which replaces the rubber bands with uh, Technic Springs it's another way to do it um, if you want to keep it purely 100% Lego I hope this video has helped you to learn to make your own gun thank you for watching and see you next time